Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager with Autodesk. In this Tips and Tricks for Showcase, you'll find out how you can use the inventor constraint or behavior in a storyboard slide. Okay, so here I have a model that I have imported from Inventor. And during the import process, I have imported two uh, Inventor constraints. And you can see here is the bottom plates and the um, handle that uh, makes the mechanism open and close or up and down. So I want to include these in a storyboard slide. And I already have a slide ready here, which includes a couple of shots. So start to end animation, as well as an environment that is already part of my storyboard slide. Now to add the behavior to my storyboard slide, I'm going to right click on the behavior and say add to current storyboard slide. And I'm going to choose the option play forward from start for now and see what that does. Now, if I open the properties of that storyboard slide, you'll notice that my behavior has been added and it's got a certain length, which is the length of the, uh, the animation of my um, behavior. Now, if I hit play, it's going to play the complete storyboard slide with my different shots. And eventually, when the cursor hits the end of the behavior animation length, it's going to end and the end all is not going to be moving anymore. Now, if I want that end all to do the movement reverse or continue, continue on, then I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to need to add uh, another type of behavior. So let's have a look at the option we have here. So add to storyboard slide, and I'm going to say play backward from end. So basically my end all going to go up and then it's going to go down and go back to where it was. Now you see, I can adjust where these behavior animation are on my storyboard uh, time lengths if you want. So now I'm going to hit play. And basically, you, if you notice the cursor, it's moving forward. It's playing the first behavior animation that I've chosen, which is play forward. And then it's going to enter the play backward from the end once it, it's the uh, certain location of this uh, animation. So now it's playing backward. So basically, if you want the animation to keep playing, you need to add a certain state, if you want, of your behavior to cover the full length of your storyboard slide. Now, to help you understand, basically, these uh, state options that we have here, play forward, stop, continue, they are in relation to uh, the controller of those behaviors. So if I hit play, basically plays play forward or play backwards. Um, so it's the same kind of thing that I'm doing, except inclu I'm including these states of play forward, stop, play backward into a storyboard slide. Now I can nudge it forward and see frame by frame what this animation is doing, and I can reset the position to the start. Now with this information in mind, we're going to add a second set of behavior to our storyboard slide and logically we'll want to play it forward first. Now you see this animation uh, behavior length is a lot shorter than the other one and I can position this play forward action wherever I want in my time frame. So let's have a look at the properties here because sometimes you want to play in a loop these animation. Now, depending on the style of behavior, playing on a loop might work fine or might not. And if you look at this animation here, playing in a loop doesn't work properly because once it gets at the end of the animation, it jumps. It's not a complete 360 degree. So playing this specific behavior in a loop doesn't work fine. So we're going to have to look at different options. So let's go back under properties and play it only once. And our other option would be to add a second behavior state and play backwards from the end. So it plays in one animation um, round and then it plays on the opposite after. So now I have two type of animation state in my uh, that as part of my behavior and you see it plays forward and then it plays backward. So and obviously I can position these uh, animation wherever I want them to play in my storyboard slide time frame. So if I have a look at the results and play the storyboard slide from the start Start, you'll notice that I have my different uh, shots and my different behavior that are playing in a certain order, playing forward and playing backward. Now, depending on the behavior that you're adding, it might be logical to play forward first and continue the animation or play backward first and continue the animation. It might make sense to stop and reset. You have multiple options that are offered to you as long as you include these different states the behavior will play as part of your storyboard slide.